And Kirsten, as we head into the colder months, this is exactly what doctors and officials here across the state do not want to happen because cases are on the rise nationally. We're even seeing our own uh, micro clusters starting to form in about a dozen neighbors neighborhoods here in the city. This as about 14% uh, uptick in cases is being seen nationally. It's on a trajectory of getting worse and worse. That familiar sound now haunting to New Yorkers who've lived through the peak of the pandemic and now following the latest increase of COVID-19 cases in Brooklyn and Queens, more people are being hospitalized in New York. 878 were hospitalized. Uh, that is up 58. The largest single identifiable addition is from the microclusters. However, it's nowhere near the 18,000 that were hospitalized early on. Still, Governor Andrew Cuomo says it's cause for concern and not even a second wave yet. This is not a second wave. Second wave is a virus mutates and comes back. That's a second wave, right? We're still in the first wave. The governor also believes the virus will be around for a year or more based on vaccines. Last week, he put in place hotspot cluster zones, where a recent spike in cases has now dropped slightly. Most of the people, which is 99%, are complying. So a few bad apples, the whole community is suffering. The consequences, including temporary school closures, gyms, churches, and indoor dining restrictions, a period lasting for two weeks until the numbers come down. It's, uh, you know, the last chance. We almost can't survive anymore. There's no stimulus package from the federal government anymore. And here in the city, paramedics are reporting seeing this time 20s and 30s. Those are the average age of patients being brought to emergency rooms across the city. And unless people mask up in a big way, a key coronavirus model predicts that up to 400,000 Americans could lose their lives by February. Reporting live in Borough Park, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.